If you want to know what you can do about your hormonally induced leg cramps, then this is the video for you. Make sure to subscribe so I can help you get your hormones in harmony and optimize your health. And don't forget to click the bell so you can be the first to be notified of my new videos. Welcome back to the Hormone Healing Show. Today, I'm going to tell you all about leg cramps and how your hormones induce them and what you can do naturally. So, everybody, most everybody, have experienced leg cramps sometime in their life. The cramps could be in the legs, they could be in your feet, anywhere in your lower extremities is where you usually feel these cramps. Most of these cramps are due to an imbalance in water and minerals, but sometimes you can actually have more cramps when you're hormonally challenged. The women who are premenstrual and during their menstrual cycles, during that low estrogen time, they have some more cramps. Lot more leg cramps and menopausal women are really prone to leg cramps and pregnant women are prone to leg cramps so why is that because the hormones specifically estrogen control blood flow and without adequate amount of blood flow to those muscles you don't get enough hydration and you don't get enough minerals to control the contraction relaxation phase let's talk about that your muscles actually contract because of the mineral calcium Calcium is actually what is released in the nerve muscle bundle to actually create the contraction of the muscle fibers. And until that calcium is dumped out of those receptors and magnesium fills its place, well, relaxation occurs. So if you have an imbalance between calcium and magnesium, you're going to have a lot more muscle contractions that do not relax. We call those cramps. There's another reason for muscle cramps and it's related to exercise and it's related to hydration. And that's where you're exercising really heavily and you haven't drank enough water, you haven't had enough fluids beforehand, that your muscles are actually holding on to lactic acid and that can cause some contractions and cramping as well. That's a little bit different. So what are you going to do to deal with your leg cramps and prevent them? Number one. Exercise. Exercise actually boosts circulation to those muscles. The more blood flow in and out of those muscles, the better it is for the muscles. The more oxygen they get, the less likely they're going to cramp, the more minerals, minerals that are flowing to those muscles and away from those muscles. Exercise is super important. If you're standing all the time or sitting all the time, you actually have a slower blood flow, especially to your legs, which are dependent. That's why you see some more swelling. So even if you're having to sit a lot, get up, move around, actually contract those calf muscles. The same like when you're on an airplane, that will help to prevent those leg cramps. Make sure you exercise every day. Walking at least is, is good, swimming is good. It doesn't matter what you're doing, move those legs. Number two, hydration is key. Did you know that you need at least one half ounce of water per one pound of your body weight, okay? But what does that mean? If you're a 120 pound person, you need 60 ounces of water. That's almost a gallon. So you need to make sure you're getting enough water throughout the day. It's really, really key though that your water is in well, is, is balanced. If you get too much water without enough electrolytes, then you're gonna throw your hydration off. But your muscles need to be hydrated and you need enough hydration in order to have good blood flow to your muscles in the first place. Number three, boost your mineral intake. So remember, magnesium helps relaxation and calcium helps contraction. Well, we want strong contracted muscles. Most of us get enough calcium. We get calcium through most of our foods, especially dairy products. We see a lot of calcium there. So most people that are eating a lot of protein can get quite a bit of calcium. Calcium's also found in legumes and it's found in, um, in grains. So there's calcium in other foods as well, including like tofu that has, which is a legume, a bean, has a lot of calcium in it as well. It's the magnesium where we tend to fall a little bit short. And where you get most of your magnesium are in dark green vegetables. Here we go with those vegetables again. You can actually, you want to try to get at least one third of your vegetables every day should be in those dark leafy greens. The darker, the better, the more magnesium. And remember, you need to cook those greens. At least half of the greens that you're eating should be cooked greens, not just raw. It is very difficult to break down the fibers in those raw vegetables in order to get enough magnesium. And cooking them helps you to release it. 
as well as sauteing those greens with a little olive oil, and then at the very end, turn off the heat and squeeze a little lemon juice or lime juice because that will actually help you absorb the minerals, especially magnesium, from the greens. Try to eat greens at least a few times a week, at minimum, to get your magnesium balanced up. You can also take magnesium as a supplement. Now the problem with magnesium as a supplement, if you take too much of it, it can cause diarrhea. So you have to be really careful because it's, it loves water, it pulls water into your gut, so you're gonna have a lot more diarrhea. That's how old-fashioned milk and magnesia works. What you wanna do is make sure you're, you're taking a type of calcium for your body that is least likely to cause diarrhea. Calcium carbonates, calcium sulfates, they're more likely to cause diarrhea. A citrate, a little less likely. Threonate, definitely is unlikely. Glycinate, not as likely. Those are the chelates that hook onto the, onto the magnesium. You wanna make sure that you're, you're getting enough magnesium in your diet in order to prevent those leg cramps. So, now that you know what you need to do to help to prevent those hormonal leg cramps, it's not easy if the rest of your hormones are out of balance. That's why I created the Hormone Review Training, for you to discover how to get your hormones balanced naturally. It's free. Just click the link in the description below this video. So what's one hormone healing tip you might try this week? Leave your answer in the comment section below and make sure you sign up for my Hormone Reboot Training. If this video was helpful, be sure to subscribe, share with your friends, and hit the like button so I know to make more videos like this. Thank you for watching my video and I'll see you in the next one.